Okay, this is a little video that we put together to help people who have uh, either never or infrequently been through the process of how to remove uh, a post ovopositional female green tree python from her eggs. The most important thing to remember uh, is to keep the female calm. Now, depending on the general disposition of the female that you're working with, this can mean several things. Here I'm removing a female Maroki, a notoriously mild-mannered animal. Uh, from a clutch of eggs. So I'm less guarded in a situation like this um, about protecting myself from a potential bite. If you were doing this uh, with a BIAC animal or any captive lineage animal that has shown a propensity for biting, uh, you'd want to handle this a little differently. But in this case, you're wanting to keep the female as calm as possible, uh, making sure, taking great care to uh, ensure that uh, in removing the female from the clutch, uh, that you don't inadvertently change uh, the orientation or the position uh, of the eggs. You need to do uh, whatever you can uh, to get her off the eggs uh, without causing uh, an alarmed reaction. Uh, and again, to ensure that the, the orientation and the general, uh, the general uh, status of the eggs is preserved. The key to separating adhered eggs uh, is to roll them in several directions around the point uh, at which they're adhered together. You don't want to grab them and just sort of pull apart, uh, and you don't want to roll in one direction. What you want to do is gradually work towards the center of the, appeared, uh, the adhered part. Uh, for candling the eggs, I use a small LED flashlight. Uh, it doesn't produce a lot of heat and produces enough light to be able to tell if an egg is fertile. Uh, infertile eggs generally appear yellow with a homogeneous interior. Uh, there's no structures, no vascular network present. Uh, fertile eggs, uh, you can make out a strong vascular network and the developing embryo, which appears as a small black dot that when the egg is rocked, uh, you can typically detect a slight amount of motion. Uh, here you can see it in the center of the egg. And again in this egg. For more information, please visit albinochondro.com.